हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अदर फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ योर फेवरेट शो ऑन टेलीविजन इट्स कॉल्ड टेक विद टीजी मेरा नाम है गौरव ए के टी और मैं हर नए एपिसोड में आपके साथ टेक की कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग बातें करता हूँ वेल well, अगर आपको भी लग रहा है कि देर इज समथिंग ऑफ इन टूडेज एपिसोड द बैकग्राउंड इज नॉट यूजअली वॉट यू सी वेल द सिंपल फैक्ट इज कि टूडे वी आर नॉट शूटिंग ऑन सेट इन फैक्ट आई एम शूटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ ग्रीन स्क्रीन बट द फैक्ट इज कि मैं चुटकी बजाते ही सेट लेके आ सकता हूं और आपको पता भी नहीं चलेगा एपिसोड इज क्वाइट एक्साइटिंग बिकॉज आज हम बात करने वाले हैं अबाउट विजुअल इफेक्ट्स चाहे वो आयरन मैन वाली मूवी हो या कोई और तरह का कंटेंट आई एम श्योर ऑन अ डेली बेसिस वाइल यू स्क्रोल थ्रू योर फोन यू सी टर्न्स ऑफ विजुअल इफेक्ट्स और जब थिएटर में जाएंगे डेफिनेटली यू आर सराउंडेड बाई ऑल विजुअल इफेक्ट इन ऑल योर फेवरेट मूवीज लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द साइंस बिहाइंड दीज इफेक्ट एंड हाउ एग्जैक्टली टेक्नोलॉजी हैज एडवांस फ्रॉम जुरासिक पार्क टू मॉडर्न डे मॉवल्स काफी मजा आने वाला है लेट स्टार्ट दिस एपिसोड जल्दी से आगे बढ़ते हैं चलिए शुरू करते हैं फ्रेंड्स वॉट एन एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज एपिसोड आई मीन विजुअल इफेक्ट हाउ एक्साइटिंग दैट नो जस्ट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर जस्ट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ सम नाइस शूटिंग टेक्निक्स वी आर एबल टू चेंज द एंटायर वर्ल्ड अराउंड द सेट्स और हम अचीव करते हैं समथिंग वेरी अनरियल now okay for a fact if you have a very strong script it does not need any kind of visual effects but they are there to enhance um hum baat kar sakte hain shooting the international space station uh, talk about people on a different planet ya ek aisi video jahan pe animals baat kar rahe hain i mean the ideas are endless and that's where visual effects are very essential and maze ki baat the best visual effects are those jisko aap नोटिस ना कर पाए जो आपके नजर में अलग से निकल के ना आए वाली वॉचिंग अ मूवी इट शुड जस्ट फ्लो नाइसली मतलब आप देख भी लें और उसके बारे में सोचे भी ना दैट्स वेयर द पॉलिशिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड गाइस लेट्स टॉक टू एन एक्सपर्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट व्हाट द साइंस ऑफ विजुअल इफेक्ट एंड वॉट हैिंग इन द इंडस्ट्री आई माई नेम इज जॉन पाइते आई एम द चीफ क्रिएटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ इंडिया हेलो my name is liju i had production here in india uh, at monks and here today we heard to talk about vfx which uh, means visual effects and if i give you a small or a very easy explanation what visual effects means is any technique or any trick or i'd rather say any digital technique or digital uh, trick that we use to manipulate what you see on screen or to manipulate what has actually been shot is what the perfect example would or or the perfect definition i would say for vfx is so in a simple language and breaking it down very basic to the basic level uh if you shoot something if you shoot a footage anything that you add after uh with your computer generated imagery or subtract or enhance those three things keep in mind those three things are the one that sums up visual effects as we call it today so the common scenarios where you would be able to see and the good examples where visual effects are applied in uh in films i would say would be the hulk for example or any avengers movie uh visual effects uh fundamentally is used broadly in most of the films today but it's usually hidden to the eyes and it's very subtle to for an eye uh, for a normal person to catch on but i think uh, the best example would be taking uh, the hollywood films like avengers the hulk where the character does not exist in real life and could only be uh, created in computer generated imagery yeah actually actually i'm so sorry or think about it you know all something something that all the viewers of this show definitely have seen uh think about any of those star wars movies or mm-hmm. think about any of those marvel superhero movies all those spaceships all those aliens all that uh, outside world of course it doesn't exist so where do you think all of that comes from that is where vfx is applied so Even, even if as simple as the lightsaber in star wars yeah. because those yeah. things does yeah. not exist yeah. it does not have to be an entire world per se but it could all, all uh, be a small thing 
So those are the things that I think uh, really kind of complements visual effects and enhance and kind of brings out the, I think, the director's vision or his imagination to picture. That's really important where, that's really important part where visual effects kind of assist the filmmaking process. So am I, uh, I'm like, the thing is that the reason why India is becoming major hub is because of the multiple factors, especially two main factors for that matter. We have enough and more people uh, who are really good at what they do in the world of VFX. And secondly, these same people, the same talent comes at a fraction of a cost when you compare it with the rest of the world. So, if you think that if you are a director or storyteller, you will say that your work will be so good as much as in fact, if not better, and at a fraction of cost, the world will not say no to it. So, there's no way that India will not become a more significant hub in the coming years. In fact, even right now, it is uh, it's, it's uh, one of those hubs which is producing, I don't know if you guys know, but we are actually producing some of the best VFX films in the entire industry for that matter. So, uh, visual effects is the key part that would transform the director's vision or his imagination into real life picture. I think that's where it's really come into aid, uh, the director. Uh, now there's a lot of good technology where even not just a director, but a cine uh, cinematographer can actually hold up a camera and kind of always see a preview of how computer generated will interact with real people. This was used in a film like Avatar, the first one, even back then Lion King, that's the second one that where they use. So it's really come into play, not just before, what used to be was that, you know, I could only work within what a real life situation, a real life location, a real life character would be available to me. But now directors can go wild on their imagination in their storytelling, which is super important part of any kind of content creation. Uh, to bring that to life, they are not limited anymore to explore all kind of possibilities that anything that can, they can imagine now can be created and brought to life. Uh, Harry Potter, yes, there's no flying staircases, there's no uh, flying ball with a wing, but I think it comes through. Uh, at this point, I feel that the author kind of have that imagination on a book. Then later on, once visual effects has really kind of elevated in the industry, then they could, kind of, and the technology uh, likewise, they could transform that book, which was only possible in a book, into a film, which we all completely enjoyed. Now, we can cover a lot of uh, different type of uh, visual effects, um, but again, it gets a little complex as we go deeper down. I want to cover probably like five major VFX that we see uh, extensively used in all departments, right? In all production, I would say. Number one would be CGI. Like a complete build of something that doesn't exist. Character, Hulk, for, for example, right? That is something which is completely built from computer. So that's called CGI, which is computer generated imagery built from scratch. The second thing I would uh, add in would be, uh, for example, camera tracking. What is really camera tracking is if I have to put that same Hulk on, let's say, on the floor over here, in front of the practical camera, for uh, him to exist this, and especially if the camera is moving, he will be floating because this does not exist in VFX, CGI. So for him to be stuck to the ground and not, uh, and not just float around, camera tracking is very, very essential and necessary for it to, for a CGI character to be presented and to be blended seamlessly into the real world. That's number two. Number three uh, would be... Yeah, motion capture. Yeah. Motion capture is something, again, uh, if you look at the way that 
how we move, the way that our face moves, our expression. It's a very intricate movement, which by hand, for an animator, it's very, very difficult, almost impossible to create that kind of realistic movement, especially on the face. That's where you get uh, performance capture or motion capture, where there's a tiny camera that's held on to, uh, that's being held on a helmet or headgear that just films your expression with dots on your faces where it picks up those cues and dots and transform that into point clouds and points in computer where automatically it can map to the CGI character's face. So that if I'm smiling or if I'm talking, my natural motion and movement of my mouth, my cheeks, my eyebrows, everything is translated seamlessly to the character's face, right? Likewise, if you're talking about limbs and motions and movements, you wear a gear with motion, motion, capture, uh, motion capture gear. And likewise, you can kind of like translate the, the running or the jumping or the flipping or the walking or the sitting, anything can be seamlessly translated to the character which is computer generated, thereby making extremely, I would say, efficient for uh, production houses and CGI and design studios to implement uh, more graph. So the, the fourth one is uh, rotoscopy. Rotoscopy is like cutting out. I think in a simple term, it's just cutting out people. Uh, that means that sometimes, you know, uh, some wires might be visible. Some people, maybe the, the crew, the production team may be visible. This is a very simple term. Uh, and kind of cutting them out is something which uh, rotoscopy is needed. Uh, rotoscopy comes obviously with, uh, you know, a lot of tedious uh, kind of work. I think uh, this is where, uh, but it's a very basic, at the same time, needs to be very specialized department because the workflow is basic but it's tedious and there's a lot of intricate motion in that so think of it as you draw uh you draw something on a piece of paper right rotoscopy is taking a scissor and cutting out that exactly in the outline that you draw think of it you do that digitally that's pretty much rotoscopy in a nutshell. Okay. The last one I want to cover the film. Compositing. Yeah, that's yeah, what that's maybe, the main yeah. thing. The last one that I want to cover would be compositing. That's the magic of it all. Because composite compositing is, I would say, the process of taking different things from different departments, right? Uh, for example, uh, Hulk. from CGI, getting the character of the Hulk, right? From effects studio, uh, effects department, taking things like fire and smoke, and then kind of putting them together, uh, taking from the editing table, the footage that has been shot, and blending those uh, multiple uh, things, assets that are coming from different departments, blending them together to give you a final output and where the Hulk is in, a, in New York in the middle of a battleground where smokes are all kind of like all around him, rubbles all around him. That's the work of a compositor who puts them all together. There's a footage, there's a CGI character, there are smokes and fire which are made in uh, special, uh, which are made in effects and then there is also uh, there's also the, Composite. Comp uh, I would say there's also the film that has been shot, the plates which has been shot. So uh, all of this compositing puts it together. That's the magic ball. Hello friends, welcome back after the break to your favorite show around technology. My name is Gaurav and you are watching your favorite show, Tech with TG. And uh, tell me, when did it last time that you have seen a movie and you thought that how did this movie shoot? 
गाइज हो सकता है उसको एक नॉर्मल रूम में शूट किया हो बट देन विजुअल इफेक्ट्स को बाद में कंप्यूटर्स की मदद से ऐड कर दिया हो बेसिकली क्रिएटिंग समथिंग वेरी अनरियल टू लुक लाइक अ रियलिटी इज ऑल अबाउट विजुअल इफेक्ट्स और आज के इस एपिसोड में हम इसी के बारे में बात करने वाले हैं लेट्स कंटिन्यू द इंट्रैक्शन विद द एक्सपर्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट दिस इंडस्ट्री एंड हाउ इट हैज प्रोग्रेस्ड ओवर द ईयर्स एंड वेड इट स्टैंड टूडे एंड हाउ एक्जैक्टली द फ्यूचर लुक्स लाइक स्पेशली ए का भी इसके अंदर काफी इंटरेस्टिंग रोल होने वाला है लेट्स कंटिन्यू द इंट्रैक्शन और कुछ जानते हैं नया ऑल अबाउट विजुअल इफेक्ट्स so when we talk about like we the india becoming the capital of vfx for the for the entire world there's also another stream that a lot of people are not talking about or probably scared of but that that's something that i let john talk about because he's also leading that entire workflow for monks mm-hmm. uh something that i have myself been amazed with john yeah. you want to so uh, what uh we are talking about here is artificial intelligence or ai right mm-hmm. uh there's a lot of myth in the market that ai is taking over the job of so and so is ai replacing us but it's not really ai is a tool that we can uh we can use in our day to day to make our life better uh if you are re- uh, refusing to adapt with an open mind ai yes you know we could be replaced by it but if you adapt to it and make sure that it's in your workflow and ai it can tremendously help you and it's something that at monks over here we are taking a sincere practice to use ai in our daily workflow and we have been experimenting with a lot of our production pipeline as well uh, as well as our campaign and things like that in films as well um so advertising also uses ai a lot but if i have to cover on the grounds of visual effects the redundant job the, the redundant workloads something that is repeatedly needs to be done again and again could be taken over by ai so when that is taken over by an ai the artist can concentrate on creativity can concentrate on beautifying things right doesn't have to spend overnight on rotoscoping which i mentioned earlier was cutting out uh, uh characters from papers right so they have a lot more time at their hands to concentrate on beautifying and giving the best output possible without compromising on time because all this redundant work comes with crunch timeline vfx is the i think suffers a lot from crunch timeline they don't have enough time that's why majorly uh there's a lot of i would say burn out in this department especially yes again i'm repeating myself but it's important the redundant job that a computer and ai can pick up that's where ai is really really helping and supporting the artist it's not a threat it's a friend and think of it that way that you adapt adapt to it with an open mind it will help you tremendously right. friends that's all from this week's episode of uh, your favorite show tech with tg and next time i am sure jab bhi aap koi movie dekhenge ya jab bhi aap uh, kuch aisa content dekhenge jahan pe bahut zyada sci-fi effects honge aap instantly samajh payenge ki kya real ho sakta hai kya computer generated ho sakta hai kiske liye piche ek video wall ko use kiya hua and how exactly the shooting process uh, you know uh, would have been ek particular shot ke liye because that's the idea of this show ki jab bhi आप नेक्स्ट टाइम किसी नॉर्मल चीज को देखें हमेशा दिमाग में क्यूरियोसिटी आए एंड यू वुड वांट टू फाइंड द रियल टेक बिहाइंड इट गाइस आई होप यू एंजॉयड दिस शो इफ यू हैव एनी फीडबैक इफ यू हैव एनीथिंग टू से यू नो द एड्रेस इट्स tg@ntv.com ड्रॉप इन ऑल योर ईमेल्स आई एम गोना रीड ऑल ऑफ देम एंड आई एम गोना कंपाइल सम अमेजिंग एपिसोड नेक्स्ट वीक के लिए आपसे मिलूंगा सेम टाइम सेम लोकेशन सेम प्लेस सब कुछ सेम रहने वाला है मैं भी सेम रहूंगा बस टॉपिक चेंज हो जाएगा वील डाइव इन टू सम इंटरेस्टिंग फील्ड ऑफ टेक वेरी वेरी सून टिल देन टेक केयर एंड हैव अ गुड डे 